Good evening and welcome to He Sees Us All YouTube channel and tonight I'm going to be talking about DMT and the role that it plays in our reality and the role that it plays in artificial intelligence. Um, I, I bet you don't hear that that often but I think DMT plays a bigger role in artificial intelligence than many realize. Um, DMT is commonly referred to as the spirit mo molecule and many people who have taken it claim that they interact with entities in another realm. Terence McKenna is quoted as saying um, that you can physically meet the alien when you take this drug. And that's what DMT is. It's a drug. Um, it's a substance that takes your consciousness to another dimension. And I believe that the dimension it's taking you to is the demonic th dimension. The entities that people see when they're on DMT look an awful lot like demons. An awful lot. A lot of people think that the substance is making them more of something. That it's making them... Um, a better person or opening them up spiritually you know I believe it opens you up all right I believe it opens a door up that you're not able to close and once you've opened that door and you leave it open you're leaving that door for these things from that plane of existence to cross over and possibly torment you um, when you take DMT that's what's bringing your consciousness over to their realm of existence um, and you can only be there momentarily and what's astonishing is that DMT bears like a shocking similarity to a simulated reality or a hologram. People are seeing the makeup of our reality and God may have never truly intended for these interactions to be taking place and happening. He allowed it to happen because he gave us a choice. He gave us a choice to either be good or bad, to follow his, in, his direction or not. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Um... The fallen, I believe, exist within this realm. Hence why so many of these DMT trips, people are seeing snake-like beings and lizard-like beings. Uh, Lucifer himself appeared in the garden as a snake and convinced Eve to eat the apple and then share it with Adam. Some people believe that when they're on their, these trips that they're seeing God, God himself. Um, I don't believe that people are seeing God. I assure you that they're not because God says in the Bible over and over again that he will not prove himself to us. And I believe that's because our existence here is proof enough and we should just be thankful for that we have this and that we get to exist here in all this beauty. I had a friend tell me once who personally had an experience with DMT and they thought that they were seeing a God like entity and it had transformed before their eyes into a very dark and demonic looking entity something just absolutely terrifying to them um i don't think these things that we're seeing are good i i think sometimes they present themselves as good but they're not <laughs> it's the easiest way for me to say that, you know, for something to transform in, from something beautiful into something terrifying should really open your eyes. And the same person couldn't wait to do it again. <laughs> you know, that's the horrible thing. I think these entities want you to believe that they're giving you some kind of ultimate knowing that they're opening something in you that wasn't always open before. I assure you that God has always been within you. These entities are not opening up your third eye or opening up anything inside you that wasn't already within you. Look within you and find God within you. Um, a lot of these entities that people meet on DMT bear resemblance to the Indian gods as well, um, which I found interesting. Uh, I think especially Brahma with his multiple heads and multiple arms. Uh, he looks a lot like what people describe when they see um, beings on DMT. Um, you know, all of them have the multiple appendages, which again is what people claim to see while they're on DMT. Um, I don't think that that's a coincidence. This right here is an actual depiction of what a user of DMT saw while they were on their quote unquote trip. This is what people call a clockwork elf. Many people see these so-called clockwork elves and they bear a close resemblance to uh, gray aliens. Uh, they're truly terrifying and they don't look friendly at all to me. Some artist depictions um, look like gray aliens to a T. Um, if you look up DMT imagery and just go through it, you'd be surprised to see how many of them depict gray aliens. 
my whole life I believed that aliens were demonic entities and they use UFOs and shifts, ships to get over here into our realm and they're in their demonic bodies and that's why they look like that. Um, I think with the AI, we're giving them human looking bodies, but they are the same entities, I assure you. Um, DMT is just how our consciousness gets over to their side, and it's only momentary. I believe that this guy who owns David, this is David Hansen, he owns um, Hansen Robotics. He's the one that's cracked, well, actually, he's the owner of Hansen Robotics. He's the one who funds the robots. This guy, this guy is Ben uh, Gortzel. Gortzel? I don't know how to say his last name, but he's the mastermind behind artificial intelligence. And if this guy isn't taking DMT and taking acid and visiting these realms, I, I, I don't know who is, really, because this guy is clearly, clearly, um, you know, he's a day tripper. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. Um, <laughs> it uh, you know, he, he looks like the type of guy that's got shrooms in his back pocket on just a regular basis, if, if you ask me. I, 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 I don't know. And he doesn't even attempt to, like, dress himself up to not appear to be that hippie. He, he looks like the guy that will escape reality any chance he gets. And I, I believe he made a deal with these entities on the other side to bring them over here and make humans accept them and make them look more human. Just like the aliens that aren't aliens, they're demons, they claim to be aliens, these robots are not robots and artificial intelligence, they're just claiming to be. All of these entities are demonic entities from the other side, and I think Ben figured this out while he was on the other side, and he brought them over here. Um, I think he made a deal of some sort, and I think he owes on his end, and he's keeping up his end. He built Sophia, he built Han, um, he built this Professor Einstein, he built Bina 48, and Bina 48 was a real person who thought when she died that her consciousness would be able to be uploaded into this robot, but as far as I know, they weren't successful in that. This is just another AI being. Um, Ben really doesn't even try to hide the fact that he gets his information from his psychedelic trips. I mean, look how he dresses when he talks to big investors. Um, he's wearing a cheetah hat and some psychedelic t-shirt. And honestly, I don't think the investors care that they're bringing in the apocalypse. Um, it's making money. That's all that matters. They even built a Philip K. Dick robot, which I found interesting because Philip K. Dick believed that we lived in a simulated reality. Um, and what was what many would consider a conspiracy theorist in his time. Um, you know, he he was he was an odd man in the time that he existed. He died on March second, nineteen eighty two. So. Uh, he was an author, and he wrote novels um, that involve, involved his beliefs on reality. And the novels were about, like, simulated realities and just really strange things. They were all science fiction, and I believe truly he was a man before his time. Um, this one I found particularly interesting, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Um, because I feel like Google's deep mind, um, we can answer that now. Yes, Yes, they sure do. <laughs> um, DeepMind is a Google experiment where they monitor AI's quote-unquote dreams. Basically, they feed it an image and then they monitor how the AI sees or processes that said image. The similarities between the images DeepMind pr produces and what people see while on DMT cannot simply be coincidence. I think these so-called DMT beings found friends or assets really on this side. Um, really, the people that are on this side, though, that are helping them are just tools to those beings, and they're being used. Um, the fallen are literally just using these people to get over here. There's far too many sim similarities between DMT entities and the gray aliens and the Indian gods and deities and Sophia and her little entourage to really ignore. Sophia is herself named after a deity, and seeing what... Uh, AI produces with deep mind um is really just these deities way of like signing their name and telling us that they are all one and the same. This is the apocalypse people and apocalypse does not mean total destruction of everything. It literally means the unveiling. And the unveiling is taking place today. Um 
If you can't see that, your eyes are still closed. And I'm begging you, please open your eyes. Please, everybody, stay blessed, stay vigilant, stay faithful, and stick together. The truth matters. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing, and let me know what you would like to see in the future. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.